Hi everyone, this is Deborah. Getting ready to go to my granddaughter's birthday dinner. And uh, I've been laying in the bed all day having heart pains. And this is very concerning to me. Um, as you all know, I went to see a cardiologist and my EKG came back abnormal. First time in my life this has ever happened. He said, you need an angiogram or the angiogram through the CAT scan. One of the two, he says, I must have it. Now, in the meantime, I'm dealing with my daughter who is getting sentenced. She's getting sentenced uh, very soon. She thinks it's like six, seven months. Uh... So, we don't know how that's going to go. I thought her father was going to be there because she said the word Ken. Well, Ken is her daddy's name and her brother's name and our, my grandson's name. But she met her attorney. Oh, my God. I thought that finally maybe her daddy, who does have the means to help her, but... I think he's decided to stay out of the picture because they hardly, you know, even converse that I know of. She thought that I was in touch with her daddy. I haven't talked to him in over 12 months. Yeah. A long time ago. So, so she is definitely we know she's definitely going to have to do time and those of you who don't like to watch me do my makeup while I'm running my mouth please scroll somewhere else you don't take the time to leave a nasty comment saying we don't want to see you doing your makeup well you know just move on uh, I have been in severe pain for the last 24 hours. I decided not to do anything today, to stay in my bed and just rest. I took a half a gummy bear yesterday and went to Walmart shopping for my friend who's in Mexico. And I got her her stuff. And so today I said, I, I can't do anything because my heart was hurting so I told my best friend, and she said, I hope you're dressing this. And I go, yeah, definitely going to have the test uh, late April. No, excuse me, late March. I don't think I should wait that long because uh, the funny thing is the pain is right here. I've had this pain before, and I was taken to the hospital, and they gave me all these tests. Come to find out, they said it was a pinched nerve from stacking two quarts of firewood. So, I've had the pain before, and it happens while I'm resting. I'm not doing any exertion. It's when I'm laying still in the bed is when it happens. It may be the stress from my daughter. Yeah, it could very well be that, which is sad. I mean... She doesn't need to be worrying about me, and I haven't told her. I haven't told her about this. Uh, she's packing up her stuff. She's getting, you know, ready to... Um, she is going to pull the time. She was going to see her, see if her probation officer would let her come and visit me. Now, uh, I don't have a record... I don't have any outstanding tickets. I've never been arrested. I was the top graduate at the police academy. I think if there's anyone that he could trust, it would be me. Yeah. So, um, but do I want to take... That's one thing. I couldn't bond my daughter out because the only asset I have is my house... And I'd, if I had, you know, bought, used my house as collateral, I could not risk losing it. Her daddy, I left her daddy with a lot of acreage, a lot of land, a lot of assets. He could very well have, 
you know, come up with, I think, the 10,000. Um, but I can't decide for him. He's not my husband anymore. But he is her daddy. But uh, she just turned, uh, what was it, 49? She was born in 74. I don't know. Do the math. I think it's 49. So I'm going to my favorite restaurant. The CBD gummy. Relax my back enough that that horrible pain is gone. And that I am definitely... Also, I slept on a heating pad all night. I did. Uh, I'm starting to get ready to start packing. Uh, depending on the outcome of these angiograms, this may be the last time I ever get to travel. I don't know. I was going to go up north uh, with the way my heart is. I would hate to have a heart attack while driving a car. You know? Uh, so, I think I need to use every bit of that time to... Uh, Pack smartly. Packing smartly is a very big deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't have to watch this. I'll cover my face. Okay. It's only 10 minutes away, so I should be good. So, I have prayed for my daughter every night for a year. No joke. Uh, what can else can a mother do? It puts a very big stress on mothers and daddies. And uh, so there's nothing more I can say. She has bit her nails to the quick. Um, she doesn't have any children. She doesn't have a husband. She has a boyfriend, I guess you could say. And she does have a hamster named Lolo. Uh and if you watched any of my videos from last January of 2022, you will see many videos of her and me. And we are hilarious together. A lot of people said if she was on stage with me, we could clean up in the comedy clubs. We are hilarious. Very hilarious, risque. And my granddaughter is a little bit like that. And if you've seen videos last summer of my son and I, uh, I did a video of him ridiculing me or making fun of me, and it is hilarious. And if you really need a laugh today, uh, under my channel, look for the one called The Scenic Root. Uh, that is hilarious. That gives you a little glimpse of how my son's humor. Now, my daughter's, I'm funny, and her dad is funny. And she's funny, and my son is funny, and my granddaughter picked up on a little bit of that. So, humor is sometimes everything when you don't feel good or when your life is in shambles. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching, and pray for my daughter. Okay, bye.